welcome back to my channel and if you are not welcome to my channel I'm happy to have you with me and uh, before I get started please go down you know down on the right under the video and you see a subscribe button a red button that looks just like this and click it please I'll appreciate it and also don't forget to click the bell icon so you can you can be notified every time I post a new video now I came across I follow the reel on my YouTube I sus I subscribe to their channel and I see today that one article that one video that says the Jocelyn you don't know um, I've been watching I watch love and hip hop and you know Jocelyn everybody know Jocelyn she she crazy <laughs> she can be a little crazy but she just had a baby and I guess she wasn't the real and they posted this about her so let's see what it's about I haven't watched the video yet at all I don't know what it's about what she's about to say my hair don't want to cooperate I still love them but let's get started <laughs> Now, Jocelyn, we've had you at this table before, and we're excited to have you back this yes. week again. We've gotten to know you uh, really well, and we love having you here. But a lot of people know you from Love and Hip Hop, and um, we know that there's more to you than that. There's so much more to you than that, and we want you to share your story. You know, like, I know that you grew up in Puerto Rico. I did, girl. I and did grow yes. up in Puerto Rico. <laughs> but I'm curious as to what was your childhood like growing up in Puerto Rico? You know, it was, it was pretty cool. Because, of course, Puerto Rico is beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, I could just I tell you one story. Be. Like, so you know, I, was, I went outside. And, you know, we love to go outside without any shoes. You know, Puerto Ricans. Yeah. <laughs> and we live, like, by the beach. So yeah. everything is just, like, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was running, but we lived in the projects. Yeah. You know, we lived in the projects, the it's real projects. Casario, right? Yeah, Casario. We lived in the Casario. So I remember one day I was running to go meet my hunger. I was, like, a little kid. Um, ran... And I got a needle stuck on my foot. The needle got stuck on my foot. I ran upstairs. My mama took it out. She sat me on the washing machine. She took it off. And she gave me a kiss. I went right on. It's by a my hypodermic business. needle? Girl, it was a drug needle. <gasps> yeah. OK. Yeah, well, that. Girl, do you know you can't use these big words with the Puerto Rican? <laughs> no, no, no. This is for the yeah, viewers, so it was, not for yeah, yeah. the viewers. But it was, a, it was a drug needle. It, it was a, um, it was a heroin needle. You know, wow. in the Casarillos, that's in Puerto Rico. That's like back in the 80s. I was born in the 80s. I'm, I'm 30 now, I just turned 30, so in the 80s. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it, it, it was just a drug-infested place, and that's just what it was, but we lived through it, we fought it, we passed through it, and we just keep moving. Like, you it's got not a big needle, deal. How did you feel? Was you scared? What happened? How did she explain to you what that was? Well, I knew what it was, because my dad died of a heroin overdose. So I, you know, I knew that, you know, the whole hood was on heroin. Yeah. Do you mind me asking if you were close with your father, or how old were you when your father passed? Well, we was, we was me and my brother, we on, the only two that had the same father. He yeah. passed when we was uh, 13 years old, and you know, my mom is like, she come home one day and tells me and my brother, at the time I was 13, my brother was uh, 15, mm -hmm. and my oldest brother, and my mom is like, you know your daddy died. We was like, what, girl? But we only seen him a few times, so, we can only give, she can only give us what he gave her mm -hmm, and right. what he gave us. So she's just like, your daddy died, you don't know him anyways, I'm just giving you the news. Ooh. Got it. So when you got to the States, what was it like for you then? Here, yeah. Well, you know, I was six, so I didn't speak any English. Yeah. I was all, that, I still don't speak any English, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand I, you. So I had a pretty good time uh, growing up in, um, in Fort Lauderdale when I was like in, you know, kindergarten and then uh, middle school and then went into high school, which I dropped out of high school. I went to middle school, started doing hair, dropped out of that too. Okay. I, I just, I'm just a dropout. <laughs> I'm like Kanye. No, okay. you're not. I'm like Kanye, so I dropped out again. And so look, we was cute, right? We was like, we was so cute. We was just like fly young girls. We got involved in a strip club. We was just like, we young, we pretty. Guys want to give us money. You know, I've been to Africa, been to, a, a, Canada, a lot of places. I mean, at 17, 18, 19 years old, you know, and I made two, three thousand dollars in one night mm -hmm. when a I was like 18 years old. A lot of people don't understand that. People are like, well, why would a young girl, and I get, I get the moral question of it, but people are like, well, how are these girls making money? They're making mm -hmm. two and three thousand dollars a night. Yeah. 
Yeah. So as you were dancing, you met Stevie. Well, mm -hmm. I always wanted to do music. I always wanted to be like Selena. Yeah. So I'm I'm in the club looking for a producer. Psh. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. So I'm like, oh, you know, one of my other homies was like, you know, that's Stevie J. My baby daddy got seven Grammys. So I'm like, he's the man to go to. Uh -huh. Right. Anyway, so make a long story short, it was more we really fell in love with each other. Like it was love at first sight. It was mm. love at first sight. Wow. And now we have a baby seven years later. Wow. Seven years wow. later. Wow. Wow. Seven years later. So y'all still together? <laughs> I told you you got to watch Love and Hip Hop. Oh, y'all yeah. still together. I'm looking at you. You know, uh -huh. when I first got in the business, it's like, oh, she doesn't make music. Oh, she's not an actress. But uh, I'm not an actress. I take acting classes, and I'm on Fox doing an acting show. Hey. You know? And, oh, not to mention, they said I was a man, but I just popped out a kid. Chip. Uh, you know, I don't know where they got that one from. But I'm always going to have something no, to say. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's a some people be like, well, I don't know what they're exposing those ratchet things, ratchet down, and you love any hip hop. A lot of this woman, I watch, I watch this show, I watch um, Black Ink Crew. A lot of these people had tough, rough past, you know, childhood. They're not like, you know, most of us that are lucky to have, you know, to have, we had mom and dad giving us, you know, love and affection 24 7 like raised like you know i wasn't born with a you know silver spoon on my mouth whatever the way they say it but at the same time my childhood was pretty good there are certain morals that you know not everybody was raised the same that you were raised so a lot of time i've seen people acting a certain kind of way you know, I try to put myself in their shoes, like, why are they acting like that? You know, something must make them act like that a lot of time. So, you can see she's just like, you know, making her way through, and she is making her way through. Like, I have to give her respect for that. So, be besides, behind everybody that, you know, everybody's saying, they ratchet, they this, behind each of these person. There is a past. A lot of time, they don't talk about it. A lot of time, we don't know. But if that's how they can, you know, like, they do what they can do to just, like, you know, I cannot keep thinking about it. So, I believe she's a great person. Somewhere inside of her, she's not just, like, the ratchet lady, that you know, woman that we see on Love and Hip Hop. You know, so she got some pretty soft side inside of her. So... I just wanted to watch it with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And before you guys leave, leave, left, exit out this video before, like, please make sure you click down below the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Your girl will really, 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 really appreciate it. And uh, please help me reach like a, I want to reach a top, a thousand, like, girl, believe me. Yeah, I want to reach a hundred subs. <laughs> so please help me reach my goal. And if you guys want me to check out your videos as well, you can put your link down below. And I will promise I will check it out. I know how real the struggle is out there when you're a new YouTuber, when you're trying to grow your channel. So we all can support each other. And uh, with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on another video. I love